later. What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Lost Spot. I'm your host, Sebastian, right out of Oklahoma City, hanging out with Matt McLeod, who is very, very... He has an interesting song that we're going to play. It's, it's super cool, man. So tell us a little bit about yourself and this project that you're doing. Uh, so uh, my name is Matt McLeod. Uh, I live over in North Carolina. Um, the Boone's the Boone. I don't know if anyone's ever been to Boone, but it's like the Appalachian area. Uh, um, and uh, yeah, my project is uh, the current project is just a, uh, a satirical look at country music, uh, so especially pop country. Um, and like sprinkling in some, uh, some gaming flair in there. So, um, it was an interesting project. Uh, I have a lot of ideas coming up, but, uh, yeah, we can talk about that one now and, um, just, yeah, you know, let's do, I do want to, I, I do want to give one shout out. Uh, we got a viewer, Raquel, I actually played video games with her. So I'm not so much anymore. I used to, but she likes my intro song. So thanks Raquel. PUBG, play PUBG. It's been a while since I played. Okay, so you country music. Now, not all your songs are video game related, though, are they? No. <laughs> just just the, the one No Johns, which is a tribute to Smash Brothers, right? Yeah, yeah. Super okay. nerd. <laughs> Super nerd. Yeah, it's yeah, not it's, yeah. It says nerd music is actually on, like, your Spotify profile and things like that. So how did you decide to come out with this song as – like your first music video, I guess. Uh, uh well, um, t- honestly, uh, I I will um, I'll give all credit to 2020. Like okay. I don't like all credit to it. I it was just I think everybody kind of went a little crazy uh, during during 2020, and uh, um, at the very like towards the end of it, I just um, and I, I've written songs since I was um like in high school, um, and a lot right. of them were like more of the I actually write like the right uh, punk rock and stuff like that cool um, but uh but um i have a pretty strong background in country since i live in north carolina and i've been mm-hmm. in a couple of uh country bands around here so um i i just kind of i don't know i was just writing a song and uh i was i kind of i was trying to like i was just you know dicking around and uh we played smash the night before and i thought it'd be really funny to show my brother and he, he laughed his ass off <laughs> so like it was just one of those things i was like you know what whatever i have never done a music video i have never done an entire like you know a full-fledged just music video of my own so why not you know why not how many do you, is, it, is it like a full band or is it like you and then you hire other people to do stuff with you or is it like a full band you got together so yeah this is a great question so i'm in a band uh called band dam Okay. Um, and we've been together for about 10 years and, uh, we've been doing a lot of covers though. Like we, we started out as a, an original band where we still like, like to write, but, uh, we just kind of, I don't know if, have you, uh, like how, how I got a kind of question for you, uh, what kind of yeah. music like band wise and stuff, how many bands have you been in? And like, do, do you remember that scene of like going out and like playing bars? Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. I'm now, now it's for me being in, in an actual band, like to try to get serious, I mean, the last serious band I was in, I was probably 22, and I'm 39 now. So yeah, uh, I so it's 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 been quite quite a while. Yeah, yeah. Well, pretty much it's that grind, man. I mean, you go you go to a bar, and uh, everybody just wants to hear. They want to hear what they know, right? So oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cover songs yeah. are great for that. Exactly. So I mean, especially around here. I mean, most venues they're all sports bars, and most places won't really like bring you in unless you throw a lot of covers in their face. Uh, so, uh, so we got kind of into covers a lot and, um, I just wanted to, I don't know, I wanted to write it up. So, so long story short, like I'm going way far. Um, <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> yeah, the brain's all scrambling. Um, so, uh, yeah, all the guys that, uh, like the guitarists, all the guitars done by my, uh, my guitar players names, Nate Spear. And then all the bass is done by Richie Bogan. He lives here. He's in my band. Um, and the, the so the only one that wasn't was, uh, the drums. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, it's it's great. I got a guy. So basically to write the song, like I just went to GarageBand and like did a scratch track. Like, you know, I did like MIDI drums, uh, did all the guitar work. It was all just crap uh, just right. to get the structure. And then I was like, hey, learn this, make it as country as possible. Uh, and for the drums, I just found a guy on Fiverr named Glenn Wellman. Okay. And so he, he laid all he laid all the tracks down. Like I, I had like a, you know, I had the MIDI ready for him, but I was like, hey, mm-hmm. do do drum stuff. Like I have, you know, just basic loops, but like do what you do, what you, do whatever you'd want to do. And uh, so he, he did the performance on the drums. Um, and then uh, we just like spruced it up with some uh, some um, uh, like just drum, like some snare and kick and tom uh, plugins. So, yeah, you know, you know, you know, it's really cool, man. And mm-hmm. this is 
the first artist I've said this to because this is a very unique song. You know, you talk about cover songs, everyone likes a cover song, right? Yeah. Well, one thing I liked about your music video, even though it was the first time I heard it and it's not a cover song, it's relatable to people who play video games, you know, like, 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 you know, I grew up playing, you know, Mario Brothers and then and Smash Brothers came out when I was a little bit older. Yeah. But just the whole video of like, like, okay, so there's a scene. I'll talk about it before I play the video, right? Yeah. It, otherwise, I'll forget. So there's a scene where it's like, it looks like you're getting upset by the video game. Like maybe you're losing or someone's beating you and you're like frustrated and you're like, you know, that reminds me of me playing video games back when I was young in California and one of my buddies, we were playing 007 and he kept on getting killed by one of my other friends. He got so pissed off. He actually jumped up and punched my other friend. Oh in the yeah. Forehead, and he was like, you can't be odd job. No one's allowed yeah. to be odd Dude, job. the odd and- jobs. My brother did that too, man. I got so pissed. Oh my God. <laughs> you can't kill. Job. You can't, you cannot kill odd job. He was no. so small, dude. No, he was yeah. so little. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, it, was it one shot, one kill? Odd job or was it just that just the golden gun? No, his, no, his hat, his hat was one hit kill. See, it's, dude, it was bullshit. 100, 100%, dude. I was right there. I was playing Golden Knight with all of us, man. I was, I was right there. And that's everybody. Honestly, I think every it doesn't it doesn't matter. Like you said, it doesn't matter what game you're playing. It doesn't matter as long as it's a multiplayer game. You just get pissed. Like if you're yeah. losing, man. I mean, I mean, there's a lot. Of, honestly, there's a lot of truth to the track. That's what's funny. Like I would. I would rage if I lost to that game. I'm, I'm much better now in my older age, but like back in the day, man, if I lost, I would come up with every excuse to why I lost, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's Dude, just how it is. Double of Seven's going down as one of the best games to me in my book. It was on 64. Right? I wish they would create it for like apps on your phone. Like it'd be super cool. Oh my uh, God. They don't. And then like Madden was also a fun game. Right? It, it, the, the, it got more complicated as more and more Maddens came out. Uh, so it's not as fun for me anymore. But Smash Brothers is a classic, man. And having to write a song about that is 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 very unique. Now your other songs, because I know you're in the other band now that does covers. Is that just like pop covers or popular yep. covers? I guess it's like ACDC yep. or whatever's out there. We kind of have a philosophy to just to like learn one of everything, whether that mm-hmm. be whether that be Britney Spears or Shania Twain or you know like you said ACDC, any mm-hmm. country like whatever whatever we whatever went well with the crowd, you know. Okay. Um, and then with Matt McCloud, are you just going by Matt McCloud? Yeah. Dude, you yeah. should go. You should go by Eminem. Eminem. <laughs> like the country version I know, that's, of Eminem. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, 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 it's pretty original. You know, we we go like, country Eminem, man. Country, country Eminem. Eminem. Well, I mean, that's the <laughs> so the goal is. I mean, since we've done so many covers, that's the beauty of it. Like, I, I have a goal. Like, one of my all time goals was just to write. Like, I wanted to put out an album where every single song was a different genre. Right. Like I wanted like an right. R&B one. I wanted like, you know, just cut like this one, like a super pop country and then like a super rock tune and like a well, metal every tune, pop rock. Different, not no, the every, songs in the album. No, the song, every single song is different. You it's almost like, so- it'd be like, you're like, it'd be just like you're listening to like a mixtape or something, you know, like that's kind of, that's kind of cool. You know what? The, the thing is, I bet even if you did different genres, let's say you did R&B and some rock and some country and maybe a pop or whatever. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you'd be doing polka or not, but I, I, but I but I bet even if you did all the different genres, you could still tell it was you. You know how like Stained, uh, Aaron Lewis went from from rock uh, to to country, but you could still tell it's him. Like there's still a similar a similarity anyways within his voice and his yeah. singing style. Yeah, there's and- there yeah you can't yeah you can't fake like yeah it, it would be my voice it would be like you know you can't you can't hide that and like right, manipulate right. that too much. Yeah, you're correct there, uh, but you can totally manipulate the back. You know, like it's just, it's, it's insane, especially us doing covers. It's a lot like we were able to be like, oh, you just have to switch the drums up here and like, you know, kind of do this little different here, a little different harmony right here, the different right. way your vocal goes. Um, but yeah, and I just love to write. I love writing songs. So that's awesome, man. Now, is this, are you coming out with an album for, because you came out with a single, uh, no, Johns, do you have an album that's coming out with that on it or are you just releasing singles? Because every band's a little bit different, you know? Mm hmm. Uh, no, yeah, I think I think I'm just gonna go the single route. Uh, because I have like cause again, they're kind of like I don't know if they would all fit into an album, they might. Uh, but uh, I, I just think I, I kind of honestly, I kind of see as releasing um, like episodes, 
mm-hmm. or you know like cool. you know like that that kind of like um you know every every it's almost like because i mean as much as this is a song and as much as it's a song about you know uh losing to a video game it's also i mean it's, it's got a little bit of a skit you know type of play to it almost like a lonely island kind of oh, feel. yeah um so uh i kind of see it more like that where if it's like i want to put this big video out about you know whatever whatever the joke may be or um even if it's something serious like it, it'd be more episodical uh, right right yeah I, I, th- I think with this song, man, I think this this first song that you have, it makes a statement about who you are and the seriousness. Because even though the song is funny, uh, the video is fun. The, it's, it's more of a kind of a comedic music video. Uh, you can still see the seriousness in the songwriting. And you can tell that this is something that you're going to want to continue to do. And for the foreseeable future, do you plan on just kind of going by just Matt McLeod and making your name just surround the band by that and keep on moving forward? Like, are you gung-ho straight going oh yeah well so because i still again i'm I'm like because i still i still play with the guys in van damme like pretty much every weekend you know for the most part we we, like we're weekend warriors um but uh but like i think like this like you said this is just kind of like me i'm just i'm just the biggest nerd and i like to like this doesn't really fit the band so to speak right right Um, right yeah so anything I, i would put out it would be you know like, like I said, I have a lot of ideas that uh, really just fit me. So if I'm like, all right, if I'm going to put it out, you know, if I want to write this and put this it's out. Wrong, then, yeah, it's wrong you know, shit. Yeah. Ant- Anthony says, ah, oh, he's a super cool dude, man. Super cool. He's in a band called uh, Saving Jackie. Okay, so I, I do want to get to your music video, your nerd music, as you would call it. I call it just badass. You are the second country artist to be on the show that's so and, funny and the first country artist also liked rock like did like a lot of rock music and, and punk music and so i think that makes sense right to, what, to come on the show so I, mean, dude, I love it go ahead what's funny is i this is probably the only like country song i write in a lot for a long time i i, I specifically like like I, I wouldn't even like i know i wrote a country song and i know it but i, I don't consider myself country at all which is hilarious like 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 you'd like me as a you know like i'm not, i don't listen to country a lot i really don't um and i just know how to write it because i was in so many country bands and i right. thought it, and i thought honestly i thought i thought complaining about something fit the country genre you know a little more like like because they're you know we're i mean a lot a lot of a lot of genres people are whining about something, but for some reason I thought it'd be just funny. A country artist was, especially if they're a country artist is complaining about something as trivial as like a gaming thing, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, Dude, like, I, I, I got a song that's a country song that I wrote and I can't sing. So it just sits there and it's called low budget porn star. Yeah. I might have to send it to you. Dude, send it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's a, such a good song. It just needs to be country. And the one country guy I had that recorded this very basic lyrics or did my lyrics over it. I think he just didn't really want to show his wife. Like I think he was like, "You can't show this to my family." And I was like, "Cause it's called low budget porn star." And I don't know how his family is, but my wife don't give a shit. She thinks she helped me write it. So, well, dude, so, so I'll I send mean, it over your way. Like I said, I like Lonely Island and Dick in a Box. So you know, I mean, oh, that's I, mean a good, that's I don't good. know. I don't know. I <laughs> I'm on a boat. That's a good yeah, song dude. Too. Oh my god, I love All that right. stuff, dude. Let's get to No Johns. I'm gonna call it a tribute to Smash Brothers. Matt McLeod, I got some more questions for you, man. This is exciting. I want people who watch this. You're gonna, even if you don't like country music, you're gonna love this song. If you don't like the song, you're gonna love the video, but you should also love the song. So, all right, let's check it out right now. Rusty cube controller And now it's the final Yeah, we ran the clock Man, it came to this last match Last stalk And with one hit My character flew off stage But I swear I died it It was way too close to call Y'all can't deny it You're gonna tell me Oh, no, I'm 
to the house after they banned me for a month. And now my girl was hanging out, and she asked me if I won. Well, here is the story. I was raising hell. I had three stocked bulls, and I took no L's but the last match. Cheated me from my game. Cause I swear I did. It was way too close to call. Y'all cannot deny it. You gonna tell me? Kel made earlier. I did. I she did. said, uh, let's say here, mm -hmm. somebody who doesn't consider themselves country, you got the voice and the look down. And I have to agree with that, man. It, it's you a curse. Do. It's a curse. <laughs> let's it, talk honest... about what no, let's talk about what no Johns means. Because yeah, talk, I, yeah. I didn't know what that meant until probably before the show we started talking a little bit. So for mm -hmm. the people who don't know, go ahead and explain the, the name of the song. So, so there are two terms I'm going to explain because that's the biggest, like, I think that's like, it's funny to me and it's funny to like my gaming circle, but like nobody else has any idea what, what the hell it means. Right. Like, so just, it, it just, it, uh, it excludes people. But the, um, so the first term is uh, called DI. Okay. Uh, so that's the first thing I swear I DI'd it. DI means directional influence, and it's a thing you can do in the game to get out of something. Okay. That's basically what that is. So people say, oh, I swear I did this thing. Um, and then no Johns means, um, it's a term that means, it basically just means take the L, you know. It yep. just means. Take, 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 take the loss. If it means take, lose... take the loss, stop bitching about it. That's pretty much all it means um, in the Smash community. Uh, so, but, you know, that's 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 basically it. I mean, it's. It's a yeah. Can, can can you use that term for other video games? Like can, can you can you, like let's say you're playing uh I don't know let's say you're playing like Call of Duty. Can you say hey don't sure. be a John? Yeah, dude. I mean probably. That's what's funny. I mean or it's, you say, it's or you everywhere. Say, don't be a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean that's yeah. I don't know if I don't know if other games have like a certain term for that. I don't know. Like that's a great question. I didn't I didn't like get super into Call of Duty or uh, any other game really, but I'm sure they all have terms exactly like that for like don't be the complaining person yeah yeah just take the other just like because i mean god yeah everybody does it everybody does it you know dude dude i remember one time i was playing against this guy in davis california and i was it was a basketball game and i suck at basketball games right like and he was beating me uh he was beating me by like probably 30 points or, or more and every time i'd make a basket i'd be like i'm coming back bitch you're about to lose and even though he won or was beating me he got so pissed 
he threw his controller at the floor. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not playing with you anymore. I was oh, like, yeah. you're winning, dude. I was just joking. <laughs> but people get so serious, man. Dude, they get, they get <laughs> video games. I've never, I've never thrown a controller. Uh, but one night in college, my roommate, he was a big uh, Call of Duty guy. And uh-huh. I was sleeping. And then in the morning, uh, he, he, I, I woke up and he had a baggie with a bunch of controller parts in it. And he's like, yo, man, we got to go to GameStop. Like, I got to get another controller. I'm like, what? How? He's like, dude, I, I destroyed my controller last night while you were sleeping. And we had like, <laughs> like it was a dorm room. Like it was, it was like he he did that like right next to my bed. It wasn't like it was super far away, and I slept Dang. through it somehow. But yeah, he just demolished his controller. Uh, people get angry, man. People get angry, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you know, I've never really been a big gamer because I, I just, I just, I kind of suck at video games, honestly. Like, I'm just, I do too. That's it. Does, yeah, I, I suck. I suck so bad. You know what's funny? Like I, um especially in the community like there's a bunch of big smash guys that i've been like following for a long time like really good ones you know Uh um and uh, i was able to actually like since the song came out i was able to actually like play them um uh as as an honorary terrible smash player and dude they beat the shit out of me beat the ever-living shit out of me it was but it was an honor you know it's like i'm like you know i'm just like dude i'm glad i'm glad i'm getting the shit beat out of me by like you know a guy i've been watching play since like the olden days like the you know ogs for, for me, I feel like, you know, they say if you lose, you get better at something. Yeah. And that's that's true for a lot of things, just not video games. For me, like, I just, I was like, yeah, I just, I don't know. I just, I guess I don't care as much. I do want to, I do want to ask you though, because you write other music also, yeah. mm-hmm. is, would you say, you know, because the writing style is different, would you say you have more fun writing a certain genre over the other one? Or do you maybe go through phases of where, this is fun for a little bit and then maybe you want to switch it off to something, something else. Definitely phases, I would say. Okay. Um, but, uh, on it, it just depends on the song. Right. Um, so like, again, I don't, I don't, I've written a lot of country songs, but that's like not, not my favorite thing to write. Like again, mm. my, my, my personal, uh, just what my go-to is more of like just old school, uh, like pop punk. And when I say old school, cool. I mean like, uh, you know, like Blink-182, Green Day, all those yeah, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Bo- oh, oh, see, yeah. That, that, that touches my heart. Like, I love, to write <laughs> that. I love to write that kind of stuff. And I'm actually, you know, I'm writing, I'm writing stuff like that uh, currently. And I got some other projects that kind of have to do with that. But, um, yeah, the, uh, the song, like, even though I don't like super like to write country, like, I like, I love to write this one. You know, I, I, because I got to like, and I loved filming the 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 music video with all of my friends. And super like, fun! Dude. I bet it know? was super fun, super fun, dude. Oh, it's so you fun! You can tell you're having fun, man. You can just you can see in the video that it's a fun video to make, man. Oh yeah, it's and it's just a it's a bunch of nerds. You like you know we all like everybody like Smash that was you know in the in the video and like nobody cared and it was just like let's just have a good time. Let's not take it too seriously. Uh, that that's really the beauty of it for me. You know, like just just have fun with music. Have fun with who you are. It doesn't fucking matter who you like. It just exactly. doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. matter. People it care so matter. much. People care so much about the stupidest little fucking things. Man. I swear to God, some people even come on the show and they're like, I can tell like they're worried about what they're gonna say. I'm like, no one cares. Just be yourself. Have fun, and oh, yeah. you'll be you'll go a lot further in life. Absolutely uh, by doing that. Who, it, who's 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 that lady that's playing guitar? Um, where I think oh, yeah. Sharon commented chick vibes or something up here. Uh, who is that lady that's playing the guitar in the video? That's a Take great, course. yeah. Uh, so, so her name is uh, Jessalyn. Um, and uh, I, I knew her at a bar that we play at all the time in Boone called River Street Ale House. Um, and uh, she's just been a bartender there. And I was like, I was just like, yo, you want to be in a music video? I think you pull off the, uh, the, the, the country girl very well and you get to rip a guitar solo. So, um, and she said, sure, which was honestly to my surprise. I was like, once she hears the song, she's pretty, she's probably going to be like, what, what, <laughs> you know, Has, is that, 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 that video is out right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can find it on, uh, I got it on YouTube. Well, you sent me the link. So I didn't look to see if it was public or not public, I guess, but I saw the link, which is what led me to it. So I was able yeah. to get it on here. Oh, for sure. Yeah. It's just, it's just on, uh, just Matt McLeod YouTube. Uh, that's, that's, that's it. If you look up Matt McLeod no johns you should be able to find I mean, you'll be uh, def- definitely be able to find it there but if you just look up matt mcleod uh you should be able to find my profile i'm gonna put this up real quick i gotta pause it but i'm gonna put this up um pause right there oh so shit. you can see his patreon's right there he has his uh what was that uh, instagram yep. uh spotify and then your merch man so shop 
uh, mm -hmm. dot dot com if you want to buy some merch and, and support. We always try to get people to uh, support the bands that we have on here uh, because you know that that's how people make their money nowadays is, is merch and, and shows. Mm -hmm. And you have also been playing quite a lot of shows, I like bars and stuff like that. Uh, now yeah. when you play when, now when you play live shows, is it just acoustic? Uh, some of them, if it's a, if I'm doing a solo thing, like I'll do the Matt McLeod thing. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, I typically do that, you know, in the summer, that's a big thing, but, uh, right now, um, I've been playing with the band. So, uh, um, yeah. Um, yeah. Be like Raquel and follow. Yeah. Thank you, Raquel. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, I play with the band pretty much all the time. Um, but I also do, again, this is like, cause and another thing that like I, I just I love to write right, but um, mm -hmm. and uh, the other guys like they they I still want I still love playing with them and playing and, and writing with them and and uh, all that, but they've you know kind of like you know times change. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been I've been we've been together for ten years. It is honestly pretty rare for a band to be together for about ten years. It is sometimes, um, yeah. yeah, especially nowadays. It really is, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, but you know, they're you know got families and jobs and stuff. Um, and uh, we're you know, I'm definitely not going to stop playing with them. But uh, I, I just, I love to do. I, I just, I'm like, well, if you can't do this weekend, I want to play myself. You know. Um, yeah, because so. you can always, you can always just do it. Yeah, exactly. And, and that's what's cool. You have the option to be able to do that. Uh, how many songs have you written for your country uh, career? I know you have the one out, but do you have other songs in the works and getting ready to be released. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I have uh quite a few, but again, like I have uh that that's the last country one for maybe a couple. Okay. Like I like I have a, a punk rock one that's uh, an ode to Blink One Eighty Two and like Sum Forty One and all of them. Um, it's kind of like just a tribute to them coming out, and uh, um, I'm working on a couple other you know funnier ones. Um, some are like funky tunes, and some of them have to do with video games. Some of them don't. Um. And uh, I think I only have one other country song idea that has to that, that, but I'll probably do that in the summer. I got one last question before we're going to wrap things up here, but I do sure. want to ask you: uh, Are you a real picky songwriter? Like, does it take you a year to write a song, or do you just riff something out and then come with the lyrics? Like, fucking boom, five minutes, it's a hit, like Jack Black does. You know, that's like, yeah. <laughs> what he says he does. <laughs> or you know, or, or do you really take time and, and put effort? Because me, if I. Normally, if I'm on a, on a roll, I can write something quick, which is why I'm never going to go anywhere writing music, right? But, but a lot of artists you'll hear, like, their biggest hit, something they wrote down while they were taking a shit or, or, or you know, having a good morning coffee. So yep. what's it like for you uh, normally, I guess? Yeah. Uh, so normally, normally I'm probably like you. Um, so, like... I'll uh, I'll get I'll just get something in my head whether it's uh, some sometimes it's like a lot I'm sure this is uh, a lot of people do this too it's like when they're kind of like in that uh, sleep like almost a sleep state mm -hmm. um, uh, there's a lot of things that come up there but like if I'm just you know chilling and I have an idea like it's in my head like pretty much if I write a tune I just have it like it's being played in my head immediately you know just right. like the entire thing drums everything and so so I'll just get my phone out and just uh, you know do a quick a quick voice thing of like I just need so to you remember don't forget. This. Yeah. exactly um and then i'll go and like if i think it's worthy of it i'll kind of like flesh it out and do a, a garage band track um but yeah for like for the no john's tune though i i was just sitting there and like i literally wrote that song and probably the entirety i probably wrote it in like like you said like in like a couple hours that's um, awesome and it's such yeah. a good song but you know when you have when you have the motivation and it's right mm -hmm. there then that is cool and i want do want to Shout out to the Southern Flame, Don McIntyre, who is my co-host. She's actually with, she'll be, you'll see her on Friday night. Anyone who watches the show at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. All right, so you have merch. We showed your merch. Do you have a website um, on top of that or uh, just what we showed? So I don't have a website yet, but I do have okay. the uh, mattmcleod.com purchased. <laughs> I just haven't, I don't have a website yet. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't put out that into it yet. I'm, I'm, you know, we'll, we'll get there. Uh, I guess the easiest way though, to, uh, to find me would, it, I mean, it's all, I got Twitter, Instagram, um, Facebook. Facebook. Um, I'm not as much on Facebook, but, uh, definitely Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Those are the okay. big, the big three. And, uh, um, I don't really have a TikTok either. I'm not a huge social media guy. I never yeah. have been. I'm yeah. so bad at it. And honestly, that's the biggest that's what I'm learning right now. Like I, I, yeah, I have this song. I have all of these ideas, but how, like, 
it's how, how are you going to advertise them? You know, like that's, that's such a big thing in the industry right now. Well, social media is one like TikTok's a great way. A lot of people are getting discovered on there. When people get big followings, man. And with your songs, you should get on TikTok and do a little things. So I, I bet you grew up pretty quick. It's a great way to grow. You got a great voice, man. Uh, songs. Fantastic, dude. I, here's what I, I want you to come back on. Whenever you have some new releases that you want, even if it's not for an official episode, because we're kind of slowing down to not as many episodes because it's it's a lot of work, right? But oh, I, yeah, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm impressed. Honestly, I'm impressed with what what y'all are doing. <laughs> thanks, man. Like, thanks. It's a lot of work. It really is. It, like, it is. It is. But if you, whenever you have a new song you want to talk about, we can always pop on, dude, and make a YouTube video for it. I'm interested to see what some of the other genres sound like. Of course, we always want a music video so we can talk about the music video. It yeah. makes the show a little bit more interesting. It uh, makes it more fun, man. We're about to leave here, dude. But, dude, you've been such a fantastic, like, fantastic guest, dude. Great speaker. I love having you on the show. Uh, so I cannot wait to see what you do next. I want to thank everyone that listens to The Loud Spot. Go to www.theloudspot.net. We also have a Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash the Loud Spot. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're on every podcasting platform, and we got some merch as well. Hey, Matt, don't go anywhere. Stay right there. We have a couple questions after the outro song plays. That's all we got. Thanks to everyone who watches the show now and in the future. Peace out, rock on. Much love. Oh, wait, where'd it go? Here it is. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> this is the Loud Spot outro by Nothing Short of Tragic. Is this all talk with no action? No. Is this my thoughts with distraction? No. Is this what I bought that's in fashion? Or is this the loud spot with Sebastian? Yes. Does nothing short of tragic have us back again? Yes. Does everything that's good really have to end? Yes. A pin post has a pin show, so to get more episodes, make an order. This is over. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to click the like and share button. Don't forget to go to our YouTube and subscribe. If you want to listen to our audio and pick up some cool merch, go to www.theloudspot.net. Peace out, rock on, much love.